She is known for her controversial remarks. We need to get rid of all of this woke rubbish and actually get back to a country where describing a man and a woman in terms of biology does not mean that you're going to lose your job. And now she has lost her job because of it for the second time. On November 13th, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak sacked his controversial Home Secretary Suella Braverman. For the Times, Braverman wrote, I do not believe that these marches are merely a cry for help for Gaza. They are an assertion of primacy by certain groups, particularly Islamists, of the kind we are more used to seeing in Northern Ireland. These comments stirred a huge controversy. But this is not the first time she has invited trouble. Braverman is an Indian origin conservative leader and lawyer. Her mother is of Hindu Tamil descent and her father has Goan ancestry. She was in the Brexit department under former Prime Minister Theresa May. As a politician, Braverman defends British colonialism, takes on the left, and does not support immigrants. The British people deserve to know which party is serious about stopping the invasion. Some 40,000 people have arrived on the south coast this year alone, many of them facilitated by criminal gangs, some of them actual members of criminal gangs. So let's stop pretending that they are all refugees in distress. The whole country knows that that is not true. She has advocated the government's plans to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda if they cross the channel in small boats. Crossing the channel in unseaworthy vessels is a lethally dangerous endeavour. It is for this reason, above all, that we are working so hard to destroy the business model of the people smugglers, evil, organised criminals who treat human beings as cargo. She even expressed concern over what she called heavy migration from India. In October 2022, she said, Look at the migration in this country. The largest group of people who overstay are Indian migrants. This is the second time that Braver Man has lost her job as a Home Secretary. Last October, the United Kingdom Prime Minister Liz Truss sacked her for breaching the ministerial code. It's been said that I sent a top secret document. That's wrong. It's been said that I sent a document about cyber security. That's wrong. It's been said that I sent a document about the intelligence agencies that would compromise national security. And it's wrong, wrong, wrong. She's also known to not mince her words while attacking the left. This is what she said after campaigners of Just Stop Oil, a British environmental activist group, organized large-scale protests in United Kingdom. It's the coalition of chaos. It's the Guardian reading, to tofu eating, woke karate, dare I say, the anti-growth coalition that we have to thank for the disruption that we are seeing on our roads today. Then there were the infamous remarks on the situation of homelessness in the country. Taking to X, she wrote, The British people are compassionate. We will always support those who are genuinely homeless, but we cannot allow our streets to be taken over by rows of tents occupied by people, many of them from abroad, living on the streets as a lifestyle choice. Despite being the daughter of migrants herself, her politics is deep-rooted in anti-immigration and anti-asylum beliefs. Now, one of the most powerful forces reshaping our world is unprecedented mass migration. The wind of change that carried my own parents across the globe in the 20th century was a mere gust compared to the hurricane that is coming. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.